Shalawan, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Ka Hala, Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash, double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth, also peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, also to the believers, the brothers and sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai and all fear Shalawan. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. Our constellation lies in Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai's name is a nomen omen, which means name prediction. And from the foundation, Yahweh Shai was created to be the Savior. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai means delivers or saves. And our constellation lies in Yahweh Shai and in Yahweh Shai only. I have the word constellation pulled up in a simple Google definition. Constellation. It says, the comfort received by a person after a loss or disappointment. And we have lost by breaking the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And we have came back here in this lifetime to serve out our punishment. And we, being a part of the hopeful elect, we look forward to receiving our constellation, which is in Yahweh Shai. Two-thirds of our people, they have already received their constellation by being conformed to Esau Edom's world. Here's another definition of the word. Constellation. It says, a person or thing providing comfort to a person who has suffered. And we are in the state of suffering just by being under the wicked's rule. But as the scripture tells us, after we had suffered a while, we're going to be what? Comforted. First Peter. Chapter. Chapter five. And verse 10. But the power of all grace, which is the most high, who have called us into his eternal glory by. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. And how do you know that you have been called? Simply because you understand. It says, after that, so after we have been called by his eternal glory by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, after that ye have suffered a while, and this is that while that we are suffering in, living here in America, being in these bodies. It says, make you perfect. And how do we reach perfection? By completing the mission. It says established, okay, and we are being established, meaning we are being rooted upon this rock solid foundation, which is Jehovah Shai. It says strengthened, and we have been strengthened by the comfort that we have received. It says settles you. And speaking of the comfort, St. John chapter 14. In verse 26, it says, But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. And that's the comfort that we have received right now by us being stirred up in our pure minds by the way of remembrance. It says, And bring all things to your remembrance, see, whatsoever I have said unto you. Let's look up this word, Comforter. Two-thirds of our people are in a state of comfort less, and we are in a state of being comfort. Strong's G, 3875. Parakletas. Parakletas. And that's the pronunciation of comfort in the Greek. The definition tells us the Spirit or the Holy Spirit destined to take the place of a Mashiach with the apostles after his ascension to the Father to lead them to a deeper knowledge of the gospel truth and give them divine strength needed to enable them to undergo trials and persecutions on behalf of the divine kingdom. 
And that's what we have received. Just being in these bodies every day, all right, is a state of discomfort. But we have been comforted knowing that we have a constellation to come. And that constellation is in Yahweh Shah. And if we patiently wait upon Yahweh Shah and endure unto the end, we shall receive that comfort. Now, 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13 tells us, There have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But the Most High is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And by us having our pure minds stirred up by the way of remembrance through the comforter, that's that way that we shall escape this temptation that we're living right now. First being in these bodies and these bodies being under a wicked man's rule. That's the hope that we have which is the greatest hope upon the planet. And we suffering for Hamashiach's sake, we shall be what? Glorified in Yahweh Shai, by the Most High at Yahweh Shai's coming, if we endure the temptation all the way into the end. First Corinthians 10 and 13 again, there have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man, but the Most High is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able. See, we are suffering for righteousness sake. Two thirds of our people, if they are suffering right now, they're suffering just to be destroyed at Yahweh Shai's coming. But we are suffering to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai because we are partaking upon the sufferings of Yahweh Shai. It says, but the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but with the temptation of also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. And we have found that way to escape. All right. Because we have been comforted. St. Matthew 11 and verse 28 tells us. It says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. So we have found rest unto our souls in this weary situation that we have been placed in. And why we have been placed in this situation? Because we broke the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High and sacrificed unto idols. The Most High was provoked in his jealousy. And he put us in this situation, but a small number have woken up to their comfort. And we have what? Came unto our rest, which is this the beginning of our rest, being comforted in your mind. Now, the scripture tells us back in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 3 again, Blessed be the power, even the Father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, the Father of mercies, and he have had ultimate mercy upon us by allowing Yahweh Shah to suck with our brain and the power of all comfort, all right? And that comfort is in Yahweh Shah. That comfort is in the spirit that has rest upon us. It says, verse four, who comforted us in all our tribulations. So we are being comforted in these times of tribulation and in these times to come, which the tribulation shall ramp up. And we're still going to be comforted because we know the end game. It says that we may be able to comfort them which are in trouble. So by we have been comforted, we are comforting others that are in this troubled situation here in America by teaching, by exhortation. It says by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of the Most High. See, verse 5. For as the suffering of a Mashiach abound in us, so our constellation also aboundeth by a Mashiach. So if we continue to take a part of the sufferings of Yahweh Shai, our constellation lies in Yahweh Shai by us taking part of those sufferings. That's why the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse.
Verse 16 tells us, The Spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. And if children, then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. See that? So if we continue to suffer in Hamashiach or for Hamashiach's name's sake and for the gospel's sake, the scripture says, and if children then heirs, heirs of the Most High, and joint heirs with Hamashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. Verse 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, the things that we're going through right now, are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So the sufferings that we're going through right now, whatever they may be, it's not compatible with the glory that shall be revealed in us, which is to receive the kingdom, all right? And once we receive that glory, the scripture tells us in the book of Revelation 21, and I'm going to go straight to the point, verse 4 tells us, and the Most High shall wipe away all tears from your eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And being up under Esau Edom's rule, it's going to be taken out of the way, which is bringing all of those sorrows and cryings and pains. But when the Most High renew all things through Yahweh Shai, that's going to be taken away. And we're going to receive our constellation. And within us receiving our constellation, which lies in Yahweh Shai, we're going to be changed. We're going to have those heavenly bodies. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 1, it says, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle will dissolve, we have a building of the Most High, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. And that's eternal in the heavens. And what's going to make that eternal? Because we're never going to go off again. We're going to have the law, statutes, and commandments written on our inward parts. Jeremiah 31 and Thirty-three. It says, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their power and they shall be my people. So we're never going to go off again. All right. Those that have left all things right now, you're going to receive a constellation. St. Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have there for? Verse 28. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily, and verily means truly, so this is the true saying, I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, in the reincarnation, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, which is Yahweh Shai, ye shall also sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So we have a lot to look forward to if we continue in the sufferings of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Let's read First Peter chapter 5 and verse 10 again. It says, but the power of all grace, and one word to describe grace is favor, who have called us into his eternal glory by Hamashiach Yahweh after that ye have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settles you. So this is what we're looking forward to, all right? After the struggling, all right? After the tribulations, after the sorrows, after the pain, all right? It's going to be... Uh, light after the the night, all right? And that's the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. And that constellation that we're looking forward to lies in Yahweh Shai. So, Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying. Shalom, DTA.